Okay, so I'm a mixed media assemblage artist. I don't know if you've seen my work. The most obvious place you might have seen it recently is I did a, um, a portrait of Ben Quilty last year for the Archibald Prize. My work basically involves a lot of sort of layering assemblage of, 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 of old materials, a lot of paper, of which I often put an image painted over the top of. So often I will start with a background or a base and then build it up and then layer it and layer it. And one of the things I love, I'll get into this a little later on, but is um, the sort of macro and micro approach to an artwork where you can have a, a grand visual image that hits you in the face from a distance, but when you get into a work, you'll find detail in it. I mean, someone like, I guess, Adele Catherine Barton is an example of that with the, the sort of very complex um, detailing that from a distance reads as a, an overall image, but you could go in close and there's individual areas. Well, I, I do similar stuff, but with found objects. And often, recently, I've used a lot of paperbacks and books which have text, obviously, pages out of my favourite books, which I love. Each show, I generally, the biggest hassle with me getting started on a new bottle of body of work is finding a hook that's going to get me into the show and give me a direction. So often in those situations where I've got a bit of a block, don't know where I'm going, I'll enter art prizes. And I, I love the art prizes, the Archibald, um, the Win, the Sulman I enter every year and, and, and have done well. I've been hung every year for 12 years in one or more of them every year. But what they often do is they just give you a focus. Um, the Blake Prize is another great one because it's got you know, it has to be, it's very loose now, but a religious connotation. Um, Mossman, and then there's a, a lot of the prizes, the landscape prizes, but they give you a direction, give you a focus, and it's almost so you can step out of yourself. So it's another thing with, I don't know what sort of art prizes are available to young kids, but it actually enables you to, to if you're bogged down, to actually just think outside yourself and project onto something else. So I love an art prize. All right. Enter as many as I can. Gallipoli art prize I've entered the last few years. Once again, something completely out of my comfort zone. It's not, I'm not a you know, military nut in any way or form, but it just gets me thinking about it, something in a completely different way um, and, and gets me moving rather than stagnating. Uh, this show, for example, or started the year that China had um, the Olympics. So the hook for this show for me was that idea that, uh, you know, what, what is a superpower in the current age? And, I, you know, China, the Olympics was a chance for it to showcase its, its you know, its newfound power in the world and to project it. And um, so the hook for this show was that I did every every country that had ever held the Olympics, some of which are superpowers, others are, were just merely supported heavily by superpowers because obviously the US, China, Russia, um, Australia of course has held the Olympics, Japan. Um, but once again getting back to that idea of macro and micro level, all these works, um, you know, for example this Made in Munich was one of my favourite works. There's contemporary art that has no intent to be beautiful or necessarily attractive. It's all about its, its meaning, meaning and what it's trying to project. I would like to think that I can try to do both. I, I, fundamentally, I love a, a beautiful object. You know, the things I hang on my own wall in my own house, I actually have to enjoy looking at, not just enjoy what they're conceptually about. So it's very important to me, and it's different for everybody, that the work actually has an aesthetic that I find attractive. So, you know, it's all, the, it's all in the eye of the beholder, but these works, like I was saying, they basically were meant to have a macro impact that you can stand back and look at them, and if you wanted to, you can step in, and you can go into the detail and look at what's written on the pages, run through it. For example, this one, it was a fairly obvious, it's a Jewish um, dictionary in the background, a Hebrew background. Um, once we've got film references again, we've got stamps from the um, Third Reich sort of era. Uh, just materials. A lot of these materials I also find on eBay, which is another a good source if you're looking for paper-based simple things. I do, there's a lot of stamps and a lot of work of mine. So once again, that show, the hook was superpower. And last simple line, it gave the film a rep, this whole show a reference point, a very strong, cohesive structure. I love an art prize.